guys, this is Kevin and Nico from Electric Cowboy. And you're watching Loud TV. Very good, very good start over here. Yeah. yeah. We had two uh, very good shows. Um, can't wait to play tonight. Um, yeah, we always have a wonderful crowd in, in France. So, yeah. Absolutely, and uh, we came to the new year with fresh energy. We have a lot of plans for two, uh, 20, um, 2023. And uh, yeah, as Nico said, we played in Strasbourg and in Lille already. And uh, it was wonderful. Yeah. And now we're here uh, in Paris. The big city of love, and we can't wait to hit the stage tonight. I had a, um, um, an ear infection on both sides, and it went over to my jaws. So uh, yeah, it was not possible to sing or to hear anything. So we just needed to postpone this tour. But okay. I'm all right. So uh, everything's fine. I'm back. Yeah. Um, we had like we were on tour in UK and France, the tours that we had to postpone and we, we were able to, to uh, play the UK dates already mm -hmm. at the end of last year and Nico had to use uh, protection ears like because he couldn't stick his in-ear monitors in his ears uh, but now he's absolutely fine and he can use his uh, real in-ear monitors again and he's looking fine and every, we're good to go, yeah. everything's fine. A little bit different because uh, when you start a band or when you start anything that is affiliated to your job, you have to give more than you get. You know what I mean? Like when it's your job, you have to pay a lot. And tours in overseas, like in the United States or Japan, they cost a lot of money. You have people that you bring with you, you don't get uh, money from the shows itself. So it's very hard and yeah. you have to earn your place. And, and it's not about earning money, it's more about getting more attention. And yeah. And yeah. this is why you go there. So uh, you, we've been around for 12 years now and uh, the things, uh, the things have changed. We play bigger venues. We are, uh, I would say, we're not so chaotic anymore. So at least behind the stage, on stage, there's still chaos. But um, yeah, we have a lot of good people with us that uh, organize our, all our stuff, and we are very happy to be in the position to be, uh, yeah, to, to call music our job. Um, partly, yeah. Yeah. Because we worked a lot, you know, and when we uh, told our friends and family, you know that, when we told them uh, when we were younger, we want to be musicians, everybody was like, oh, come on, you know, get a real job or something. And they still think sometimes that we're just making music on stage, but there's so much work behind this music. Uh, our music videos, our video shoots, our all the concerts, yeah, but, the but tours. We, we had some, some surprising things going on like uh, when we dropped Hyper Hyper for example um, it was for me it was or for us it was pretty exciting and pretty surprising that uh, there were so many people reacting to that music video um, and that we get or got so many views uh, in, in such a such a short time that was pretty surprising for me yeah. when, when it comes to music or creativity or creative work uh, you can never plan things. I mean, you can give the best you have. We 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 were very, um, yeah. We would try oh, always try to perfectionize our music, and all, all that we do uh, is supposed to be perfect. But in the end, you never know how the people will like it. And this is what uh, Nico said. And um, this is the surprise. But on the one side, as I said, we worked hard, so it's something yeah that we part for part, step for step, yeah. went towards to. So we always believed in us, so that was the reason, or is still the reason, why we just want to go on stage and write music yeah. and Absolutely. Do, do what we want to do, what we like the most. Yeah. You know? I think over the years we have little goals, like, like not grab for the stars immediately, but like have your own tour, first tour, then yeah traveling by a night with a nightliner then go overseas and something that you, you need to have goals to, to achieve more and more yeah what's next oh a lot uh, <laughs> I think the biggest the biggest thing uh, is our techno tour um, oh, yeah it's the biggest headline tour that we all of us ever played ever played so um, 
yeah, I'm pretty excited, and uh, I think I will be fucking nervous. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> the biggest headline shows ever. Yeah. We uh, in some venues we we have arenas now. Uh, we reach over eleven thousand people, which is like the biggest we have ever played in a single show. And we bought so much stuff. We bought so much LED walls and fire, and we already discuss. Of course, we already discuss. Uh, the show, like the little elements we want to bring yeah. in, and this is one big thing for yeah. this year. But we also have uh, cool festivals that we're going to play. Um, we're going to play Hellfest, for example, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, and we have All a good slot. Full Force Festival. Um, is this is actually our first headline fest, yeah. uh, or the first headline spot that we have in Germany? Uh, plus, we're gonna gonna write some new stuff, new songs, and new music videos. And yeah. A lot of countries to travel to, and we're so happy to be uh, kind of successful, successful not only in Germany but also in Europe and overseas. So we always uh, look to the other countries, of course. And uh, we, we we've been to Australia for the first time last year, and we want to go back home, uh, back back there too. And yeah, but uh, I think this year is full of shows, and full of plans. There's a lot to come. Yeah, yeah. but. I mean, we're in the position we have to look to the next year already, you know, because yeah, the bigger something gets, the more foresight you need. You yeah, know? 2K23 is yeah. already in land and yeah. booked. And sure. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Why not? Yeah. Thing is, that's why we actually started our band back in 2010, because uh, we like hard music, we like hard breakdowns and yeah. the metal scene, but we didn't want to be too, like, too serious. We like the funny side. And that's why we brought, um, yeah, neon colors and, 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 and funny stuff on stage. And as Nico said, it's, it's very important. And I think the, the music scenes, they have evolved. Like, you don't only have, like, metal, Everything rock, is rap. much more mixed up right now. So you can connect things. Yeah. And that's what we're doing with our music. And that's what the people do with, uh, with listening, you know. That you have metalheads at the shows. But you also have rap guys. Yeah, just just you know? look at the crowd um, later, and you will see that there is such a such a mixed audience. It's, um, it's so cool. Yeah, and when we started, people were a little bit like more strict with the genres because oh, you can't do that when you want to be metal. You can't do that. But nowadays, all those metalheads they come to our shows and they enjoy them themselves as well. So yeah. absolutely amazing what turned out. Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah. We actually actually released uh, a couple of serious songs like Hate Love, Mind Reader, um, or Neon. Um, yeah, it's, it's we, still in yeah. our repertoire. Yeah, um, we, we think like we think uh, our main genre is like being fun. Yeah, and party band. Being a party band. band. But yeah. like, if you only have party songs. They they lose their worth. They lose their value because if you only have like, you need both sides, you know, to appreciate each. And uh, we love our serious side. We love our, we have a dark side as well. And it's so good for for the live set, for example, um, or for a whole record to mix um, all this. Yeah. yeah, to mix all that up. It's absolutely cool. Well, maybe I mean we didn't think about oomph, but. Um, but we, it's like we, we, we had some in our past, we had some dark songs already. Yeah. And, um, and it has always we, been a part of us. I we think. all are influenced um, by so many genres and so many bands. Um, I think it's, it's hard to name all the bands that influenced me in my, yeah. in my creativity and in my um, way of singing or writing songs. Um, yeah. But when you like music, you listen to a lot of uh, different bands and genres, yeah, and exactly. you always get influenced, you know. And um, but we, yeah, we like when it's sometimes it's mysterious and dark, you know. It's, it's, it's also cool. And you're not you. You're a human, you know. You write music, and uh, you you feel differently every day. So you're not always in a good mood. You have a bad mood as well, and then you need to put that in your music as well. Needs to be. I would rather say that we could do what we like again because over the years with our old singer didn't work properly. It didn't work anymore. And when Nico came back, um, all the good, all the good uh, things came back. Why we started music, you know? And I think Nico felt the same. Like we came together and it was just natural working uh, with each other. 
and uh, we really had fun. Like, uh, yeah, it I felt like uh, I, will, we I won't say that. that there is something whole new. It's more like everything is like Kevin said. It's like refreshed, and um, yeah, there's a another dynamic right now. So everything is much easier than it, than oh, it yeah. was for them. So um, yeah, and I think you can hear it. There's some. Yeah, and feel it and see it on stage. And it's fun to make music. Uh, like yeah. our last album uh, with our old singer was a pain in the ass to make. You know, it was not easy to write that album. Yeah, it was pure work, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's fun to listen to. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad in the end. I mean, you don't hear that it was a pain in the ass. There are some cool songs, but uh, it didn't feel good. You know, it just, it just didn't feel good. I mean, yeah, we, we did it with the with the uh, hyper with the hyper hyper EP. Uh, but I don't know. It's always cool to to make music with um, with other musicians um, from from other genres. Uh, it's so much fun because you you get influenced and um, have another another point of view. And uh, yeah, we, we had the the chance to um, yeah to to write one song in in seven different different uh, genres. That was. It was fun. So much also fun. Also, to have features on an album uh, it just enriches the whole music, you know. Yeah. As Nico said, when you have a rap guy on your on your uh, album and he raps, like we could never rap that way, you know. We are not rappers. We can try it, but it wouldn't look. Uh, it wouldn't uh, sound so good. So it was cool to have all the uh, the girls from from uh, Conquer Divide. Right, yeah. It was so cool to have a high pitched voice, a female voice on the record. It's always fun, but it has to fit, you know. Yeah, it, it's not possible to just put a, a feature on a track just because you want to have a feature. It needs to needs to fit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. We started with like I I, I actually love the '90s. I'm a '90s yeah. kid, so it's um I grew up Hannaway, with, with that Alban. music. Yeah, yeah. Backstreet Boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, Perfect. But yeah. We, we liked, first of all, we liked the electronic influences into the metal music. This was our first step and I think dancing, I mean, people s always dance. Dancing is mu moving to music and to, when you have violent yeah. music, or aggressive music, you, you move different, you know, but we <laughs> kind of, um, yeah, we mixed up both sides. So and we I have hard songs that you can dance I can to tell you it's the most funniest thing is when you see one of those long-haired, black-clothed metal hats uh, dancing, dancing like like a Backstreet Boy member to your songs. And it you know, changed, it's, you know, it's because so cool. sometimes it's about <laughs> attitude, you know. Um, I remember times when when a metalhead, even if he would have liked our music, he wouldn't uh, admit it because yeah. he wants it's much to too be, embarrassing. He yeah. wants to be taken seriously, you know. But now I got a feeling that uh, yeah, I, I got a feeling that that um, it's there not no embarrassing. No boundaries, anymore. no yeah. boundaries anymore. It's not embarrassing yeah. anymore. You can. Yeah, we have some guys with long beards. They looked yeah. like they could crush you with yeah. their fist, but they, they just danced and had fun, and this is just wonderful. Absolutely, yeah. It is. Yeah. We're very happy, and we can't wait. I mean, means being away from home a lot. This is. Yeah, the that's one the side, like having family at home and you can't be with them, but we live our dream and our family support us and our friends and uh, we are very lucky to be in the position, so we can't wait for all the tours to come. What about the, the new songs? Are there yeah, different, uh, different taste or something? Uh, if you, uh, you mean uh, songs that we're going to write? Or yeah, the, uh, yeah. It's because he, he said... <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! I, I just can can tell you that we we will not stop um, writing writing more, more songs. Uh, I don't know. We will see. We have some it's influences uh, now. We we know that we, we have like some techno. ideas. Yeah. yeah, we like techno. That's what we call our uh, album techno. But we like really electronic influences, and and we we have some ideas, and we want to like put them into reality and writing new songs. Can't wait for them.